Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Blog. I've been testing out the Samsung M8, M7, and M5 smart monitors. These Samsung smart monitors are available at Best Buy, so take a look at the link in the description below and you can check them out right now. The Samsung M8, M7, and M5 are all smart monitors, so they're technically a computer monitor TV hybrid. Just like Samsung TVs, they all have the smart hub on them, so you can watch TV, watch your favorite movies on your streaming apps, or you can use it as a computer monitor for gaming. They all have the game menu on them and they all have some unique features. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is the Samsung M8. The first thing you'll notice about the Samsung M8 is that it has a unique stand. The stand will raise lower and it can tilt and rotate 90 degrees. So you can go from a horizontal view to a vertical view. It has inputs on the back, including USB-C, HDMI, micro HDMI, and USB. It also includes the slim fit camera, which attaches to the top of the monitor magnetically. So you just pop it in there and it stays firmly clipped to your monitor. Samsung M8 has 400 nits of brightness, so it is definitely the brightest out of the three and it also has 4k resolution this is a 32 inch screen so it's actually a really great size if you'd like to use it as a tv and it is a fantastic size for a second monitor for a laptop or as a solo monitor for your computer the slim fit camera will attach to the top so you can use the camera in vertical or horizontal mode it runs 1080p at 30 hertz and i love how samsung has included a privacy cap so you can just cap the camera whenever you don't want to use it. The Samsung Smart Hub, you can use AirPlay to stream your screen to the monitor and you can also have multi windows open so that you can have two tasks going at one time. You can also have remote access for the computer and you can log into Microsoft 365 right on the screen so you don't need your computer at all. It's a little hard to rotate the screen at first. You have to pull it towards you and then rotate it from there. It's definitely a sturdy stand, but I do prefer how smooth rotation is on the Samsung M7. The Samsung M7 is a 4K 60 Hertz computer monitor as well, or smart monitor. It has a slightly different stand, but it also rotates 90 degrees and it will tilt and extend up and down. It has a USB-C input, one HDMI and two USB. It does not include the slim fit camera and it has 300 nits of brightness so it's not quite as bright as the M8. It is also 32 inches so I think it is a great size for a computer monitor slash TV and I actually really prefer this monitor over the M8. The motion when you're tilting the screen and you're rotating it and lifting it up and down is extremely smooth so it really all does come down to the stand and as far as the picture quality is concerned. Yes, it is a little dimmer. I did spend some time watching movies uh, at night with it in my bedroom and I just noticed that it was just a slight bit too dark. But that being said, you can adjust the modes so that you can brighten it up a little bit and that's kind of to be expected when it's LED. It's definitely not going to be as bright as a mini LED or a QLED. I love how Samsung has the same operating system that they put on Samsung TV so you can access TV programs like this one and I just think it's really cool how you can rotate the screen. There are very few reasons to rotate the screen that I have found so far but if you like to watch social media videos like TikTok videos in vertical mode you can flip the screen and have them full screen that way. You can also extend the screen and you can use it for productivity apps like Excel so if you have a really long Excel sheet and you just want to see it all on one screen you can just flip that screen over. Tilting on the M7 and rotating is just extremely fluid. You can see how easy it is just to flip that screen around. Last but not least is the Samsung M5. The Samsung M5 is a 27 inch 1080p smart monitor with 60 hertz and it has two inputs, two HDMI, two USB. From the documentation, it says that the HDMI on the Samsung M5 is 1.4 and the HDMI on the M7 and M8 is 2.0. The stand is a little different on the Samsung M5. It does not extend up or down and it does not rotate. It does tilt forward and backwards so you can have a better view. And it actually is a great little monitor. It's very lightweight, it has a slim design, it has great picture quality, especially for 1080p. 
The other thing to note is that it is a little dimmer. It only has 250 nits of brightness. You can tell it's slightly dimmer with the M7 and M8 behind it, but in general, just for daily use, it's bright enough for most lighting situations. I think that the M5 is a very solid option for anybody who would like a computer monitor but also wants the functionality of something for gaming as well as something for watching TV and movies. I like how effective work mode and workspace are on the Samsung smart monitors so you don't even need your computer there in order to use the smart monitor. You can just log in with your Microsoft 365 credentials and you can edit your spreadsheets or Word documents. I also love how AirPlay works. It's virtually seamless and I think it's really cool how you can rotate the screen and access a full Excel document. I also like how you can have multiple windows open so I can edit a video or I can just watch a TikTok video or a YouTube short. Another cool thing on these monitors is how the, you can control your smart home devices with them. So you can just log in via the Samsung SmartThings app and you can receive notifications right on the screen. So I have a Samsung double range and sometimes if I'm using it and I'm in the other room or whatever, the monitor will pop up and tell me that my range is finished preheating. Any smart device that you add to your Samsung app will appear on screen here. If you're planning on gaming on the Samsung Smart Monitor, there's a game menu to the left side on each monitor, so it's built into the Smart Hub. And this is the Samsung M7s. Both of the Samsung M7 and M8, as well as the M5, all have four milliseconds of delay. And there's a game bar where you can auto adjust your settings mid game. So you don't have to pause your game. You can just tap the game bar and it opens up all of your different options so that you can set the refresh rate or you can change the HDR settings or change the mode. There's different modes for different games as well. We plug the PS5 into each of the Samsung smart monitors and we found that they were all fairly similar. Yes, the Samsung M7 and M8 have 4K resolution and they're a slightly larger monitor and it's kind of cool how you can tilt them or pivot them or rotate them if you'd like to but even when you rotate in into vertical mode you're still going to have a landscape game on it so you're not going to really get that much of a difference. Four milliseconds of delay is pretty low and we didn't notice any ghosting or blurring or anything really that would affect gameplay. There is an ultra wide mode that lets you change your aspect ratio to 21.9. I did not try that, so I can't confirm whether or not it works, but it's in the documentation, so I thought I'd mention it. Overall, gaming on all three of these smart monitors is pretty amazing. The colors are very vibrant. The details are very crisp and clear. While I do prefer 4K resolution for almost everything, I thought that 1080p for most games was more than enough. I also like how the Samsung M5 has two HDMI inputs and one of them is an HDMI arc. Samsung smart monitors also have decent sound quality. They have 10 watt speakers, so they are definitely loud enough for watching TV, movies, or gaming. There are so many features on these smart monitors that it would be difficult to not continue on for another 10 minutes talking about them. But overall, all three are a great size. I love 32 inches for a small TV, especially for the bedroom or even for your kitchen. And 27 inches is a decent size too. Between the 4K and 1080p, unless you're actually watching a lot of streaming content and you've subscribed to Ultra HD features on Netflix or what have you, then you may not miss having 4K resolution. It is definitely enough for gaming and the 60 hertz refresh rate is more than enough to keep up with most consoles. I also love Samsung's operating system. You can use the slim fit camera that's included with the M8 to monitor workouts and it will actually guide you through your workout and show you correct posture as you go. That's it for my look at the Samsung M8, M7, and M5 smart monitors. You can see my full written review at Best Buy's blog, and you can click on the link in the description below right now to take a look at these monitors yourself. Thanks for watching.